Hey, welcome, YouTube, Cooper's Automotive, a 2007 Lincoln MKZ, and uh, you go into the master cylinders bypass and press the pedal, and it just eases out on us and goes to the floor. The fluid's full, no ABS codes. I've installed a uh, memory saver on the uh, computer, and that's installed. I'm going to try to get you the best camera shots if I can of uh, replacing the master cylinder on this car. So let's uh, let the fun begin. All right. First thing I got to do is I'm going to have to take that battery out. Eight millimeters. Got an eight millimeter hold down right there. I do not have all my tools picked out for this job, so I'll be going back and forth a little bit. Grabbing what I need. We finally got some cool temperatures here, 40 degrees, 44 degrees in Florida this morning. Nice snow though. It snowed, I'm moving. Lift it out of there. I don't know what I'm in for on this job. But uh, it's all fun. We got a transmission tube sitting right here and it's in bolted down down there. I'm gonna pull the battery box out. Probably again don't need to, but I'm going to room. I think it's gonna make it easier. We got some other stuff going on today. I haven't had a chance to shoot any videos much lately. Like I was going video crazy there for a little bit, was able to do it. But, uh, oh, I'm put this little housing here. Hang on a second. Little clips on the wiring for the battery cables connected to the casing. You just gotta get them out of there so that you can get the casing. I think it's gonna make this job easier. To remove this, I need. At least I hope so. All the nice background noise. Let's see what's holding it. Just me. <laughs> There's a tie strap someone's put on there. We're gonna have to just gonna cut and remove that. All right, so we're 
heading down yonder. To the land down under. Here I guess. Um, I'm just trying to get cables out of our way. Let's see how that looks. reservoir hose going to that um, this piece is going to come off of here but you are not going to get that master cylinder out there with that transmission tube sticking right there so down there is a uh, mm, let's see Feels like an eight millimeter and it goes in from toward the firewall this way. And it's holding this tube right here in. I gotta hook up some battery terminal ends on the car. So if you hear me talking to my mechanics, I'll probably turn one of them loose so I can stay on this video. If not, I'll pause and we'll come back to it. It's not a big deal. Hey guy, I'm not sure if she's here. There's a lady coming in with a Lexus and it needs the positive negative battery terminal ends. They're, um, they won't tighten up. And they're like the vehicle you just did. Um, from the factory, they wanna do all wiring harness. I don't think it has to do that. I think we can use the terminals we have and make them work. Okay. We got those. Uh -huh. all, right. all right, so that's what's going on there. All right, let's see. There's a vent tube down there holding the, uh, well, a vent tube going to the transmission stick. Um, like the visual's not really good. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pause, well not pause, but I'm going to take the camera out move down in here back out all right there's the master cylinder here's the tube right here down here and the transmission right there you have to remove this the bolt on the back on this bracket behind that tube right there there's a bracket right there take that out you're gonna twist this after you get that loose and pull that out. Then on the master cylinder, I'm gonna remove this hose clamp at least right there. Just one bolt on each side of the master cylinder. See if I can get a shot of that. that light right back there. Um, dang, can't quite get a picture of it. But there's a 13 millimeters, it looks like one on each side. Relatively easy little removal. So I wanted to just kind of give you a, a better visual of that. Sorry about the shaky camera and the movement, but I don't have anybody with me today to um, do video. Here we go. All right. So I've got to get that vent piece off that I just showed you. Regroup my thought process here. And there it is.
All right, it's out. I'm just gonna put it right here in the front. And obviously, we've got two brake lines. There is, um, however, let's see here. Like I said the wiring harness going right to the side, little push tabs that hold it in. clamp to the fluid reservoir and this one will come back like that then remove the hose and I'm going to see if I can get a little something to catch some of that fluid because it's well do you know what I'll do I'm going to pinch it off the line This is just the gravity bed. I'm not going to make it too tight, but I'm going to try to not create such a mess of brake fluid everywhere. Okay. And just because I want to, you don't have to, I'm going to take the reservoir off. for the fluid level. All right, actually gives us better visual for this whole job. So now, excuse me, shakiness. You can see, ladies and gentlemen, we have a master cylinder. All right. Let me get those lines out of there. Line wrenches. guessing that those are they look like 13s and looks correct they are 13s so break them loose with the line wrench and then you can go to a regular wrench I am shooting video, my friend. I'll be right with you. But you can ask me, what is it? What? Uh, your Microsoft account? My Microsoft account? Yeah. Updating a desktop computer today. Everywhere, and these brake fluid is what rinses with water comes off very easily. All right, um, let's see if those are 13s like I thought. This one's pretty easy to get to right here, I think. I think. Yes, 13 it is. I'm just gonna set that there. Probably cannot get the backside with my little Bosch. But I sure am gonna try. Well, that 
That worked out great. Okay, so there we are. This thing should come out of here. The seal on the back of the master cylinder. Both there, and there's the master cylinder. I gotta take this reservoir off right here. Get the camera angle right here. This reservoir's gotta come off. It's gonna be a little torque bit right there. Gonna remove that, pull it out, put it in the new master cylinder, and install. I'm gonna pick back up in just a little bit. 2007 Lincoln MKZ. I'm back. I'll take a break there and chop in the video. Anyway, uh, leave the reservoir on. Put all your new master cylinder together. Put the plugs in it. Go to your bench. Hold the ear. Move this piece with a blunt object in and out just about an inch. Open the bleeders to remove some air like old school bleeding first or you'll never get this thing to bleed. And then it'll only move about an eighth of an inch and all the air is out of the system. There's your sensor to plug back in. Let's bolt this uh, master cylinder back up. There's your power booster. I'll leave the plugs in so I don't drip fluid all over the place, but I am gonna crack them loose a little bit. All right. Sucker in there straight. I'll let go of my screwdriver. I need a screwdriver. All right. Let's adjust it here. here. There's a rod down inside there you gotta line up with, obviously. There we are. 13 millimeter nuts ready to go. It's down underneath there. And snug these up evenly without getting too excited. There we are. We're on. Let me just get this right back here. 210 millimeters. Grab that. Got those plugs loose, we can take them out. Well, one of them. I heard it hit the floor though, that's a good thing. Because you save these for later, you never know. Might need it again. 
get your line started by hand. Thirteen millimeter inch. I'm just going to use a shorty snap on. But one's a little tougher. and some of that patience today. All right, they're tight. Got to get the half a brake cleaner here and just rinse down the fluid. Go out to that transdict tube, little silicone spray on the O-ring here. millimeter bolt back there.
brake fluid light switch right there time to go after our battery battery tray Get our battery in. in all right those are eight There you have it, basically. That's your master cylinder install. We use the Dorman new master cylinder. This M630527. That's all we got to do on this particular vehicle. Back out. And up. All right, so 2007 M. KZ Lincoln master cylinder bypassing full fluid. Go test drive it. Got any other issues? I will come back and uh, video that. If not, we're moving forward. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel.